we're in Kempfel, a little town that uh, is probably 10 minutes away from our house. Uh, we come home from trying to get a car trailer and uh, that was not available. So now when we got home, there was someone in the dooryard, didn't quite catch his name, Neil. Is it, what's his name, baby? Is that his name there? I think so, Neil. Anyways, there was a person in the dooryard. He said that he had a couple old cars that he would give away. And all we have to do is go look at them and say yes or no. And I don't really know where we're going. Are we going up here? Yeah, I think okay, so. Up here. We're, so we're just turning and going to where we're supposed to be going. There's an address there that we're supposed to be going to. Joey's going to point the direction because I do not know where it's at. But uh, this is just 10 minutes from home and uh, just shows how easy that you don't know where everything is and there's always more cars out there that's what it says to me anyways but uh, we're just climbing the old hill here uh, he said it said it was a 30s 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 Ford 30s Ford and a 70s Ford pickup uh, he did not want to see it go to waste he wanted to see it uh, be used and I guess that he follows the page a little bit or knows a little bit and uh, he says that I would probably use some of the pieces and that's why we're here. We're gonna turn right here. Uh, is that the truck? Looks like the truck right there, doesn't it? Look at that there now. Okay. There's a car right down there. I think we found the place. Look at that. Him and his son are digging some stuff out. Cool. Well, here we go. Let's go in and see what they got. in it okay and that did run actually because he sat on the milk crate and drove around the neighborhood <laughs> with that engine in it okay but that was a while ago so the engine's running over there gotcha it's, it's parts and pieces is what it is yeah so i thought well geez you know you can take the crumb and put it on something else and do the roof in good shape too eh? whole car when it came from Bradley Murphy's back in 1978 looks like somebody just drove it in and parked it. Wow. And my brother was 14 years old at the time and he, and he uh, me and my dad and him went down to get it and uh, brought it home. My mother wasn't too pleased but <laughs> <laughs> so anyway he tore it all apart and he got big dreams of it. That's what happens when they get rusty on the bottom they start section. Yeah. So his plan was to go right at her in his retirement. You might be able to use it for something. I just come here and pick this thing up and get it off your lawn is yeah. what you want? Yeah. Right on. Yeah, I don't want it on board. Cool. <laughs> Got like that. Yeah, this old truck down here. Okay. This old truck don't look bad. No. This is a big deal for me to get rid of this. Is right? it? Yeah. Because I left my wife in the truck. I bought it in 1986. And uh, it kind of defined me as a person back in the day. It was a, it was a mint show truck. Everybody knew it. Yeah. CD there. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you the parts I got. Okay. Make, make something of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. my my dream, if I had an unlimited budget, yes, was to chop. Yes. Bring her down a bit. Well, you're probably probably passing on to the right feller, maybe. He <laughs> <laughs> and and I want to delete all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's just nice and smooth. Yes. And. Uh, Lower it down a bit, put like a running gear off of say an old Grand Marquis or something. They did that on gas monkey, I think. Did they, they do that there? Yeah. They made that quite big. 
different ends of the cut out of the old Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and I want to paint a bright orange and then get some sort of either a soy lock. I'm just looking at her. You know, yeah. Oh. I don't know. But yeah, it had flames, realistic flames. Looks like the thing's on fire going down the road. Cool. Uh, I thought it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe put like old school five spoke craggers on it or something. You want her out? You want her, you want her out of the way, do you? What? It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Before it changes the launch. <laughs> <laughs> I even like that. Is the trucking number one size? Cool. Yeah, it's so easy. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. You are right. It's not bad at all, really. You know? It had a tired old 302 in it. I got rid of that and I was going to put a 351 Windsor in it. Okay. There's the makings of a truck there, I would say. There's a Makin's. The Makin's is something cool. Yeah. There's a, there's a Makin's of something there. Yeah. I don't want to see it as a truck. <laughs> Everybody got a truck. Oh, okay. You want something done to this thing. I want you to do something to it. Fantastic <laughs> <laughs> up around the front. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got the panel for that side there for the wheel to drive the box. You do? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Okay, nice. Right. Awesome. I would most gladly pick these off and go here. I'm pretty good. You will. If you do me a favor, brother, and, okay. and, and if you do something with it, that's good too. But if you yeah. decide not to, well, well, it, you know. add it to your collection of junk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not, that's not really junk to me. I know. I mean, it's, isn't it though? It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. I mean, it's, it, it, there's a lot of work there. Yeah. But it's a start. It's a good start, man. You know? Yeah. It's a good start. Yeah, good start. Everything's apart too. I kind of like vehicles that way, and that way they. Well, well, most people don't like taking on someone else's project, but this is not really a project. This has just been disassembled. Well, yeah. If you didn't disassemble it, I'd have to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Starting to make a buggy out of her, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Even the chassis. The chassis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's that panel, brand new panel I bought. Wheels, bumpers. Some of the nickel is still decent. A couple of old rims around for too. Should I? Oh, here's another cool car. You'll like this. I gotta look around now. I can't help you. Like That's the best part of that 37 Ford, the gauges. Okay, cool. <laughs> Very nice. I had a lot more, but I downsized. I had a Ford sign back there. Can't have that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want it. I would ask. <laughs> Didn't want to be like that now. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering. I'm saying yes to all your to the car and the truck. Yeah. Should I start packing this stuff in there? Absolutely, man. Or if you want me to put this in my van and take it over, I can do that too. And you worry about the big stuff. Well, I don't want to see you do anything that. You can. What are you going to put it in? You're not going to put it in that nice little truck up here. <laughs> well, we would. That's what we use it for. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's what well, we use it for. Well, I can back this. I can get the stuff out of here. You can back down. I can. I can stack some stuff in it. That's for sure. Yeah. I don't expect you to take that. that I just kept that in case I wanted for a template or something like that. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, I'm just, I don't know what to say. Maybe I should just back the truck down in there and just pack I'll, some I'll stuff in. I'll just pull these out and you just back straight down. All righty then, we'll, easy we'll make it the easy way then. That's what I'll do. Look at that, baby. Right, well, that's something else now, eh? Give me a truck. Well, well, worth it, you know what I mean? Though. Why would I get a brand new panel put on the side of it? Fender. Back on that one. Nothing you couldn't fix. We'll have to call somebody to come pick it up or maybe a truck or something.
It's got an alt meter on it. Probably got a starter on it. With all the pulleys on it for some of the engines that we had. Wow. So I'm gonna move the old truck in, pack some of the stuff in it. We just we just fired ourselves a, a Ford and another Ford. Because of the people like this man. Uh, it's hard to believe that he's going to give this stuff to us, but we're going to do something with it. Not many people around like you. <laughs> They're dying breed. Face it, I mean, I'm not sure what you're going to do with it, but I obviously you found out somebody that's going to do something with it. Yeah. All right. I the old 37. I even thought it would, if someone took it, cut it in half and just put it on the side of the wall as a sign or something, right? You know, it can, it can be made into almost anything. Anything, right? Yeah. Pulling apart for the plans to restore it. Yeah, yeah. Just got got away from you. Got away. Uh, well, my health isn't good, right? So okay. I just, I you see, see it go? Yeah. <laughs> you can pop over any time, check it out, see what it looks like. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I love it. No, well, no, he's not taking the trucks today. He's just taking this bit of junk here. Oh, okay. All right. yeah. Okay. Get this out of your way if you want it out of the way. Yeah. That's for sure. I'm parked with the 79 Fords. 78. 78. Yep. Is it? So it's a, it's got square headlight. That's what fooled me. 78 was first year for that. I actually, I think 77 and a half, possibly they had the square. Because right. I, I know a guy had a 77, had square headlight and it threw me off. Yes. And he said, not the 77 and a half. I don't know. Think, Fina? Like smell? Huh? So, used, to, used to say it was, it was a white truck. I said, no, it's not. It's uh, Wimbledon. Wimbledon whites are kind of our favorite. It's, it's kind of our color. Yeah. I like that. Like an off white, is it yeah. not? Yeah. Yes. Then there might be more. What made you decide today was the day? We got the house for sale, and I've moved this stuff. My son has helped me move this stuff several times. Okay, so but I also had a flatbed tow truck then, right. and it was easier. <laughs> right. Just the year for plastic inner fenders. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't. Uh, yeah, I just have to laying around. 
And the, your house should probably sell quite quick right now with the market the way it is. Yeah, I hope so. We're hoping for someone from away to come with. You know. Well, <laughs> from what I understand, the market's is that you know the market's kind of crazy. Yeah. From what I understand, everybody wants to come to the safest place in the world, do they not? That's right. I can't say as I blame them a whole bunch. Well, we always said this is the greatest place. In the that's world. not part of the truck. Anymore. You can have it if you want. If it's just metal. Well, that's fine. I don't yeah. need. No. Okay. Uh, it's easy, easy going with the stuff, isn't it? <laughs> that's off the 302. Cool, I'll take it. And that's I'll, the I'll rot heater. Rot well, we won't let it rot in the ground. We'll do something with it, maybe, possibly. Going up here. Kind of rots in the ground to deal with some monk crime. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> It'd be in good company over there. Huh? <laughs> we did some picking at. Uh, at Bradley Murphy's for the What's left up there? Anything? Well, there's a lot of old cars still there. Is that you know right? I mean? They're just kind of going in the ground, but yeah. they're all still Same there. Same as Audley Thompson, eh? All that stuff in back of his house just going Not in the ground. Oh, there's a box of booty here. Okay. Yeah. We use, we use the old sport tube utility. We use it. <laughs> yeah. We use it with the hay. That's what it's for, I guess. Okay. I can just make a show. Further up by the dog, maybe. When would you like me to send somebody over for? Anytime. Anytime? Here's the gauges there for the 37, and that's the mirror for them. Cool. You know something? Oh, I'll use them on something. I know you will. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use them on something. Sir, everything I can. If I find something between now and later, I'll put it together for sure. Oh, that tail, got tailgate going to fit in there? It will. Where do you plan on moving? Middleton, I think. Okay, you're going to go to Middleton? Yeah. Okay with that. Somewhere's in an apple county anyway. I want to go. Ooh, that's kind of... We were going to go easy on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> Find those things, eh? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you want that old bumper, or should I just put that at the scrap? I'm, or? I'm going to... I would... I've got... If there's one bumper in there. That's the best one. That's the best it? one. It's got a little bend, bend in it, but just... It's nothing. I don't know. How about we just set it down? How about yeah. I just set it down by the truck there and I can take it with it, maybe? Yeah. That's scary. That slide back from hitting that window. Mm. Isn't it, what? We don't want that. Uh, um, what about a blanket or something? You want that insulation right there? No, you can have it. <coughs> How's that? I mean, I'm back there like this. Got your house picked out and everything? Or? Well, we're, you're going to buy after you sell. Well, they're selling so quick. Every time I find one, it sells. Okay, That's well. Problem. Cool. I want to thank you very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I want to thank you. If you want yeah. it, you, you probably have it. That's right, yeah. yeah. So, uh, we're just going to take a little walk around it again. Yeah. To show what we got there, yeah. and um, we'll be back. Yeah. Appreciate it very much. All right, man. Let's take a walk over and check it out. Oh, so this is the 30, 30 some Ford. Um, the chassis. I don't know what I would do with the chassis. Probably would stay underneath the car, but. It's something that um, you could build a car off of. It's got a V6 in it. It's got the alternator on it. No doubt the starter on it and all that stuff. Let's face it, it's rough. But that's what I'm into, you know? That's what I'm into. Um, I see parts off it, like the roof. The back window section. Back window section. The hinges aren't bad for something. Uh, it's got a radiator inside. It's got wheels on it. Yeah, it's cool. I appreciate him giving it to me, giving it to us. What, quite a, quite a giveaway, isn't it? Yeah. yeah they give us a truck, well, but I don't know.
what do you do when you want something to move, right? When you're moving, it's on your house. The old truck to me looks like it could be a, a, a pretty a pretty easy fix. It could be a fix for somebody. They don't generally rust it, but I know well. We got the red support there. We got two front fenders in the in the truck. Front hood, box. Got the piece to repair the box side. The cab seems to be in real good shape. today's car content and uh, that's what we got for you we're working in the shop right now doing John's uh, air station water station we're doing that right now I'm putting some mud on the 40 but this gentleman here come over here and told us that he had a couple cars that he was willing to give us give us um, so we jumped on it come right over and made the video so now we're gonna go home and rig up some towing for these couple old cars cool it's a good day <laughs> People live in Elvis, do you want to thank you one more time? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't forget your bucket. My bucket? Is that your bucket on the ground? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a bucket. Thank you. Not only to save the spice in the world, come to the best people. Kind of right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, me too. It does, it does not happen every day for people, you know, giving stuff away. But you, you got something to the plastic and come over? Or? I'm going to have to hire somebody. I'll get someone to come over and get some, no doubt, my mind. Because that box, I mean, yeah. you're going to need, you know, a couple of men hairy ass boys to move that around. <laughs> well, uh, I hope he ain't got a hairy ass, but we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, take care. Okay, you too. We'll be in touch with the next couple days. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Awesome. Hard to believe, eh? It is. Hard to believe. The 79 Ford half ton makes me want to put something together, you know what I'm saying? Some, some good shape. It really is. Like the... Yeah, it really is. It's something well worth working with. Trying to clean things out there. They're moving. And uh, going to a different part of town. And sometimes you have to do that sort of stuff. Lighten your load to get where you're going, I guess. And that's what he's doing. He's going to lighten his load. Well, I'm doing the right thing here. I have been up here too much. There's a car truck thing going on there. I've never seen nothing like it. Honda. What right now, would you? Half a car, half a truck. Four door too. So we're 10 minutes away from home. Um, <laughs> uh, someone has just given us a 30, 30, 37 Ford and a 79 Ford half, 78 Ford half ton is what they've given us. Look at the hill we're going down here now. I'm expecting all that stuff not to come ahead. Woo. That's what Fiend is holding the, holding the tailgate back for us. Careful here. Yeah, the 79 Ford makes me makes me want to put that together. If you know what I'm trying to say. It, uh, it's 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 in that good a shape. Alrighty. So this is our little town of Kentville. Um, we used to have a great big parade here at one time. Called the Apple Blossom Parade. There'd be hundred thousand hundred thousand people here, believe it or not, around the square in New Minus waiting for the parade. And uh, since just a little bit before COVID hit and, and all that stuff, and now it's just blown out of the water, really. There's not much going on other than people doing what they have to do to get what they need to get done. All that stuff has just kind of come to a stop. building there that's when you get in, you know, when you get in trouble you got to go to court how do I know that <laughs> you can figure it out but uh, yeah it's a pretty good day eh, baby like mm -hmm. I, I think he was sad to see that stuff go away but I mean if he's giving it away I'm gonna uh, I took it you know what I mean uh, I took it 
we'll see him again. Maybe I can do something good for him. You know, maybe, you know, maybe do something good for him. Because obviously he's done something for us. There's Jimmy Dill. I've seen Jim Dill for a long time. This is called Gallus Hill. stuff in there all that stuff that that I picked up was in good shape the front fender's bent up a little bit the old truck doors and the floor the floor's never be, been repaired in it it's never been repaired in it I think that truck you could put that back together put an engine in it and probably run it that's how I feel is the tailgate pushing Fina she's all right we like taking the dog with us, you know, instead of leaving her at home. She likes to come and see what we're doing. Did you want to go see your mother and Tim? You want to take her home? Take her home? Yeah. We're going to take her home. Crazy. Go over there and get a car just like that. You just you just never know when, when, uh, when it's coming, do you? You just never know. I'm going to run us home. We're going to unload this stuff. Uh, we didn't get out at Jim's place today because of COVID again. We don't want to be uh, whatever. Um, our trailer is in the city. We did not want to need to go to the city uh, to get the trailer. Uh, we just want to play by the rules for now. And uh, we'll, we'll do it in a little tiny bit. Um, there was no trailer at the U-Haul, so we couldn't get nothing there. So Jim's car is going to wait for a bit. And it's all good because we got to make a, a video going over and getting the truck and the, the other 37 Ford. We got to make a video doing that. But we are going to go out and get Jim's car here in a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we're just kind of doing car content for today, and that's what it is a free 78 and a 37 Ford. Yes, it's a good day. Thanks, Neil. You're a great guy. How do I know that? You just proved it by giving that stuff to us. Home jig home. Got the parrots home. I'm getting, gonna take the parrots out back. Gonna have to make a phone call. Look at this stuff, did you? Huh? You just think I thought that was a Bugatti. <laughs> It still is, it's just whether I do the work or not. There she be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload these parts, I guess. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do when I unload these parts. I need, I need, I need some help, I think. And just organizing some stuff and getting some stuff, you know, where it should be and where it should not be. You know, just kind of kind of got a mess here that I need to figure out and it's just a matter of starting and uh, not in any particular place but just starting and then going for it. I'm gonna leave the stuff right here I guess and put beside that building there and then go from there just getting home with the with the stuff that we picked up from I guess the man's name is Neil we just met him today we just met him like an hour or two ago everybody working on? What are you guys working on? Tell me what you're working on. Let's throw some comments up there. Even take some pictures and show me what you're working on. I bet you there's a few people in there working on a 78 or 79 Ford. But uh, this is what we've gotten for nothing. And I had to take it. You know, when someone offers that up, I gotta, you know, I jumped on it because the simple fact is why, why wouldn't I? You know, this is the name of the game. This is the sport I'm in. So, and if you're in the same sport I am, if someone gives you something, you generally go get it. And that's what I did. That's what I did. Let's face it. Uh, I think he probably could have, he probably could have sold it, no doubt in my mind, he sold it to somebody, weighed it, dickered on it, but he decided that he'd just give it away 
and uh, be done with it. But maybe me and Jolene can do something nice when we pick up the rest of it or something. Maybe we can do something. Him and his wife in a card or something. They can go to supper or whatever. Just show that we appreciate it. That's what we can do. But all this stuff takes time. And every time I lug something home, I wonder, do I need it? What am I going to do with it? But as I do it, you like it, take it out, bring it home. I usually think of an idea or something. That's a beautiful chrome bumper. I mean, it needs to be cleaned up. But that, that, that thing there alone, um, I think, would make someone happy that owned a 79 Ford half than that, that bumper. Nice set, you know. Those step runners are going on your door. So white. This is stainless that goes up. On there like that. I really feel like if me and Joel need three or four hours, we can put that truck back together. We can put that truck back together. We can feel well moldings are half decent. Good job carrying it apart. Okay, so I'm going to do I'm going to lay this stuff here. The 79 Ford Half on is a very desired truck. I think that would be the roof, the headliner pieces, maybe. I think that's a headliner piece, goes up on top inside. And it's not even rotted, you know, the 79 or 74 is not rotted. Well done. And the 30 and the 37 Ford, that's much easier to be desired for. But um, let's face it, there's not many of those kicking around that someone's going to give to you. And I've been picking up Chev engines and uh, Chev engines, and that has a Chev engine in it. So there's, we know there's an alternator, there's a starter, and all that sort of stuff for the for the picking. Good stuff. New door cards. Not new, but good to somebody. Good to us, I guess. Jolene's going to start advertising. First people that subscribe are going to have a chance to win. And, uh, the best we can do, and I'll tell you why. It's a little tough. So we, we work hard, we do the best we can do because it, it only helps us. And the harder we work, um, I'm hoping the more we get up. Gauges. They're cool. We'll take them in the shop. Take them in the shop. They were cool. Uh, stuff like this, you know. Ford Motor Company. Take this over there. Good stuff. Happy with that. We've got a couple cars that we've got to call haul home. Red ones. I took the 
fan because we need fans. It's got Ford written right on it. little box to see what it is about. Carpet, the dash, the tail lights go up, all the emblems. Look, he even left the, the change in the in the cig in the like seat belts. Cool. Well done. Well done. Gotta like that. Right? Well done. And we got a repair panel. Quality. Repair panels. I like, I like, you know, obviously I like a repair panel, but on these old 79 Fords, that line is not very detailed like the other ones are. You know, I mean, it kind of comes off as it's not real detailed like the, the originals. there we got to go back and pick up the truck and the car and then we'll find a place for that stuff i guess i've got quite a mess going on but all the stuff that has been given to us or stuff that we buy we see value in it or i do i see value in it Station. I'm, I'm starting to throw mud on the 40 and trying to get that covered up. Let's go take a look at the code and see what we're doing. We didn't get over gyms today because of the trailer situation, COVID kind of slowing us down there, which I don't mind. Which I don't mind. John's thing, we got that all filled out. Feeling good. I glassed it first and then filled it a second. Uh, Jolene's in the process of taking out all the screws. She's taking all the screws out of the pipe up here. We've got that one filled out. But right now, uh, we're getting into the process to pry it. That's what we're getting in the process to. I was gonna do some sandblasting today, but it's, it's real windy out right at the present moment. And we had to take a little bit of our time to go check out the free stuff. And uh, anytime that's available, I go do it. So we got this pretty well licked. This one here is filled out. And welded it, we welded it and filled it out. So we got it. Ready to rock and roll for primer. And yeah, if you go over here, you can see that I've got the fiberglass and mud going on the 40. I've recleaned the hood and recleaned the fender, getting all the rust off of where we left the doors. I just want to get that tidied up. I might be able to get the mud on it, get it sanded off, put some primer on it, then we can throw it outdoors. I'll be more happy with it that way. If I do not, it just takes us backwards every time, trying to clean it every time, and where we have it in the nice metal, we may as well do something with it. So as we're working on that, I'm trying to play on this, and then we get, we've been over town trying to get some stuff. So uh, it's been a good day, and I want to thank Neil very much. They're not only the safest place in the world, we got some of the nicest people in the world. Like, share, comment, and what are you working on? <laughs> Cool.